All righty, another beautiful day on Paradise here on the Finding Freedom Farm. We had a good storm last night. It was fantastic. It um, brought a lot of good rain. We needed it. Some friends gave us some asparagus plants yesterday, so hopefully we can get those planted today, and then they can start growing some asparagus for us. We are going to try a few cool things this morning with Elsie to see if... We can make some progress. Yesterday, kind of had a bum deal where I learned another lesson not to crow over spilled milk because Elsie stepped in the milk after we'd gotten quite a bit from her. So that was a bit sad. Um, got my good helper with me today. She's down here getting the gate open. Listen to Billy Bob call us. Good morning, pigs. We'll get you some food in a little bit. All right, Billy Bob. Got the watering trough here. Oh, no, the watering trough. That one's a feed trough. Let's get you, Billy Bob, up in the um, up in the thing. Let's go and get the grain. It's a gorgeous morning so far. Let's see if you'll come in here. Okay, Billy Bob. Let's try and get you into the barn. Here, let's go in the barn, Billy Bob. Here. Close. Okay, we got Billy Bob in the barn. Now let's just get Elsie in here and we'll be good to go. dumped her feed she still got more milk in her so I just sent my helper awesome baby girl to go and get the more grain Elsie calm down okay we're just we're bringing it to you we're bringing it to you okay she just needs to calm down and then we can get some more milk out of her because we're at about I think we're at about a half gallon thank you Elsie thank you very much Elsie Thank you, Leroy. Look, he can get way more than we can get. Look at his mouth even foaming up. Whoop. <laughs> we did it. Successful milking. Let's see what else we get done today. All right, so we're out here working in the garden, and we're going to start mowing the uh, tall grass. That way we can kind of get the area prepared for the asparagus. Okay, so we've gotten it, gotten this little garden space mowed a bit. You got this. Now, got it. Yeah, it's easy to move when it's running. Whoa! Good job turning it off before it hit the. Boy, look at that spider with the big egg set. Okay, here. You ready? Here, I'll get it going now. we've tilled the space I've dug little rows and um, I planted the uh, root structures of the well we've placed the root structures of the asparagus plants in the rows now is the fun time 
of covering up these root balls. I tried splitting them up, huge effort, and it was not happening. So I'm just going to um, fill in these spots. My buddy here is gonna help me. You gonna help me? Basically just take the dirt and fill in all these spots around it. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna take all these um, feed sacks, remember the feed sacks? And I'm gonna put them kind of in between these rows here. And then if we get to it, I don't know about today or when, but we'll put some sawdust down to try and help with the weed control. Right now we're just gonna fill in all these areas. Taking these bags, otherwise throwaway stuff. And we're just gonna put the sawdust right on top to try and make it a little border. That's right, we're going back to check out the bees. Uh, I was working on the deck earlier, even before that with the cows like you saw, but now we're gonna check out the bees, see how they're doing. Okay, this will just be a quick inspection because I don't really wanna go too in depth with these hives right now. I just wanna do a little quick check, see if this one's growing very much. And if it is not, see what's going on. So it's got a bunch of bees in it. Starting to fill all that in with nectar. Look at that. There's a little bit of um, kept brood. Those right there are queen cells. Makes me wonder if we've got all this kept brood, do we have these queen cells? There's obviously a queen laying. She's doing a great job filling that up. But we have a while to go before we need to add on another deep stair. There you have it, my friends. My bee-loving, freedom-finding friends. Um, check out the apiary. Real side note, and then I'll, then I'll sum up. If you ever have these things right here that are, have a purple on the stem, super bad. I guess these are super poisonous. It's not Queen Anne's Lace. This is poison hemlock. There's poisons you can get to kill the poison hemlock. But, it's what beekeeping tools are for. Until next time, it's always a pleasure here on the farm. And thank you for sharing your time with me. It's always a pleasure, I'd love to hear from you. Please send me a comment, shoot me a note, continue to watch. There's more and more and more coming. Talk to you later.